Look, I, <laughs> I just refuse to throw away a stem, but what is this? What, what am I keeping this for? Perhaps these are new plants? Because they're not roots, they're plants, so. There's plants coming along here too. So we'll keep it. All right. And the last. Ooh, now this, yes. This, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a new plant of mine, a new baby. Oh, yes. This is a philodendron. Look at those roots. Look at the stem. It's nice and thick. I just received this through the mail, and they sent me a really good piece. I forget the name of the garden center. Perhaps eBay. Yeah, I think it was eBay. Look at the new babies coming in. Mm -hmm. I know the name of this plant. Of course, I cannot pronounce it. It's just gorgeous, though. I did this with my artificial light. Burnt that leaf. That's a nice size leaf. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Propagation. All right, you all. So check out. <laughs> The mixed pothos since the clip down. And I did not do anything different to this plant. Once I clipped it down, all the pieces that we just looked at came from this plant. She had long, and I clipped them all, propagate them all, and this is the ending result. After a while, I mean, she really bushed up. She got excited. Oh no, I take that back. I did add this line. So now we have the lime, the golden, the jade, and the queen marble pothos in here now. And I'm gonna apply and put another part. Yes, honey. Yes, we are. Where should I put her? Here's a spot right here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't like to do this because you can ruin your roots. But I want to, this is a mixed pothos plant. I want all kinds of pothos plants in this pot. I'm gonna do my best not to ruin anyone. And I do see a lot of roots. <laughs> Taking a little of my slow release fertilizer. Put that baby right in there. And she's fit snug. water her in there. But look how that plant has bushed up on us. See, a quick click down can rescue a plant. It really can. I did a video on this plant called the split leaf philodendron. I was so proud of this baby. It was in a six inch pot. 
And ever since I took it from his home pot to this pot, it has not done well at all. Check her out. So while she's trying to fight for her life at this time, I'm going to take her out of this soil and put her into water. And maybe the water will help her rooting system build back up. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to replace that plant with this propagation that I have behind me. It's time to start getting these propagations done. Or at least begin to start eliminating them. So first let me begin by cleaning this pot out and ridding the soil off of the roots as much as I can. Yeah. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so I've completely knocked off all the soil and I'm totally confused. The rooting system looks great, looks healthy, looks nice, but look at the top. It's not doing so well. So what is this plant telling me? So I'm going to go continue to go with my first mine and put this plant in water because I completely have shocked this plant. I've practically beat it to death to try to get all the soil off. So I'm pretty sure this plant is in shock right now and I am going to put her in water and see if those roots will do better or maybe just see if new growth will come along the top and then now know that I can transfer it to soil. Look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Two plants. Okay, I'm not going to push it. <laughs> All right. Let's place that baby to the side. A viewer had mentioned to me when I first painted this pot not to paint the inside because possibly the paint fumes can affect the plant. I wonder if that has happened. So, I'm going to repot this plant. Excuse me, I'm going to repot this pot. And if that happens again, then I'll know for sure that it was the fume from the pot. One artist to another, thank you. I'm so excited to begin to plant these propagations. Yes, I am, honey. They've all been propagating for months. Right now, who's going in this pot? That would be pretty. I also have some potos. Wow, look at that leaf. Mm hmm. I have lots of potos. And I think I do want to make another mixed potos plant, meaning I want to put different variety of mixed of potos plants in one pot. Ooh, this is a pothos, you guys. I got this offline as well. This is a blue pothos. Cool blue, su blue. <laughs> Something like that. Look at the new growth. Yes. So she's ready to be planted. I'm going to put that in a pot by herself. We have some lime. Oh. Coming. All right, back to business. So this is a lime pothos. Yeah, she's got new growth from the propagation. Everyone's excited. Everyone's doing good. Oh, this is my um, velvet philodendron. Look at that. Look how that sun hits that and it's glowing. Let me see. Is it glowing? You can't see the glow. But you can tell that is velvet. 
The velvet vine, honey. Yes. So I know for sure I'm not putting that in there. That's getting its own pot. This here is, is this a marble pothos? More marble. Okay, we have more. Let's put these in here. To be continued with these. Woo, yes. I'm so excited, you guys. Yes, I am. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Put that to the side. And all the plants that are going along the edges, I mean, excuse me, that are wanting to vine, I'm putting them along the edges so they can continue to vine. That's a jade. Is that a jade? Yes. And this is a... That'll be cute together. This is a um, line. And all these little ones can go in a little pot together. Yeah, that's what we'll do with that. Let's put some color in here. All right. Yes. Everyone is ready to be covered. Beautiful. I want to make sure that lime is right in the center of it all. Mm -hmm. There she is. about it talk about it and everything went in so easy this plant was ready to be potted she's excited to begin all the roots are covered everything went in perfectly Two would be a hanging plant. <laughs> Her too. All right, let's water that baby. So let's get into our business. All the roots are covered. Everyone appears to be in the center. I hope it does well in this pot. We shall see if the theory about the paint is affecting the plants. All the roots appear to be covered. She's ready. Well, thank you so much for watching Ragdown Planting. Over and out.